Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. If there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to do it, or I'll be more than glad to actually react to it a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far thank you for subscribing liking commenting sharing and everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed a big shout out to the person that suggested this they suggested i react to um why muslim allow eating meat dr zaki naik i think i've reacted something like this um maybe someone else was answering the question but i have a feeling i have a hunch that i've reacted something like this maybe not by dr zakinaik but by someone and i'm guessing it's someone from a different religion asking this question it's always people from other religions asking questions religions asking questions but anyway i'm excited to be reacting to this and without wasting time let's get into the video question uh, hello dr jakinaik my name is mahind kumar and I am by qualification MBA and work for Thomas Cook at Port. My question is regarding non-vegetarian foods. It is allowed in Islam. Animals are living beings. So don't you think that it is uh, violence? And my second question is that, is it compulsory in Islam to have non-veg food and can a pure vegetarian person can follow Islam? Mr. Mahesh Kumar has asked a very good question. He said that in Islam, you all have non veg food, you all kill animals. Why does Islam give permission to kill living creatures? And can a Muslim be a pure vegetarian? Brother, before I answer the question, I'd like to tell you a Muslim can be a very good Muslim even by being a pure vegetarian. It is not compulsory in Islam that you should have non veg food, it's not compulsory. But since Allah says in the Quran and gives permission for a person to have non veg food, in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 1, it says that eat of the four footed animals which have been made lawful for you. It's mentioned in Surah Nahal, chapter 16, verse number 5, that you can eat the meat of the cattle. It's mentioned in Surah Mominun, chapter 23, verse number 21, that in the cattle we give you a drink which is good for the humankind, and of the meat you can eat. So when Almighty God gives you permission to eat the meat, of the lawful animals, then why should Islam permit you to have non veg food? If we analyze non veg food, it's rich in protein. The human body, it requires 23 amino acids, out of which eight are not made in the human body. It should be given by external diet, which are known as essential amino acids. Now, these all eight essential amino acids are present in no kind of vegetable food together. It's only present in flesh food. So, the non-veg flesh food is more nutritious as compared to vegetables. Furthermore, if you analyze, if you see the set of teeth of the herbivorous animals, the cow, the goat, the sheep, they have got flat set of teeth. They only have vegetables, they don't have flesh food. If we analyze the set of teeth of the carnivorous animals, the tiger, the leopard, the lion, they have got pointed set of teeth, they have canine set of teeth, they only have flesh, they don't touch vegetables. If you analyze the set of teeth of the human beings, if you go in the mirror and see, we human beings, we have got flat teeth as well as pointed teeth. If Almighty God wanted us to have only vegetables, why did he give us this canine teeth? Why did he give us this pointed teeth? For what? But natural to have non-veg food, to have the flesh food. Furthermore, if we analyze the digestive system of the human being, if you compare it to the herbivorous animals, cow, goat, sheep, they can only digest vegetables. The digestive system of the carnivorous animals, tiger, leopard, lion, they can only digest flesh food, they cannot digest vegetables. The digestive system of the human beings can digest both. It has small intestine, big intestine. It can digest vegetables as well as flesh food it can digest both so if almighty god wanted us to have only vegetables why did he give us the digestive system it can digest both 
as far if you analyze many of the hindus think that hinduism prohibits the eating of flesh food in fact if you read it's mentioned in manusmriti chapter number five verse number 30 almighty god has created some animals to eat and some to be eaten if you eat the animals that have been created to be eaten then it's not a sin manusmriti chapter number five verse number 31 says that almighty god created some animals for sacrifice killing them is not a sin manusmriti chapter 5 verse number 40 says that killing sacrificial animals for sacrifice is permitted it is the law of the god so in hindu scriptures it's permitted to have non-veg food if you read the vedas and the other scriptures sages and sons they ate non-veg food they even ate beef if you read mahabharat anushasan parv chapter number 88 when the pandavas they gather yudhishthir who is the eldest brother of the pandav he asks bhishma that what food should we give in yagna in puja in sacrifice so that our ancestors will be satisfied so bhishma replies that if you give herbs and shrubs and vegetables our ancestors will be satisfied for one month if you give them fish for two months if you give them meat for three months if you give them hair for four months if you give them goat for five months if you give them bacon for six months if you give them birds for seven months if you give them deer for eight months and the menu continues big menu is there it says if you give buffalo for 11 months if you give the flesh of cow our ancestors will be satisfied for one full year and if you give red meat of goat or meat of rhinoceros they'll be satisfied inexhaustibly so according to hindu scriptures eating non-veg is not a sin it is because many of the hindus were being influenced by the ahimsa philosophy of not killing any living creatures they started accepting it but even this philosophy of ahimsa as you said that killing living creature is a sin brother do you know that even plants have got life do you know that brother so if you say killing living creatures is a sin killing a plant is also a sin so why do you have plants agreed agreed very good furthermore there are some people who say okay okay brother zakir i agree that plants have got life but the plants can't feel pain therefore killing a plant is a lesser sin as compared to killing an animal the point to be noted is that today science has advanced and we have come to know even the plants can feel pain but the cry of the plant cannot be heard by the human being because human beings hear the frequency that they hear is from 20 cycles per second to 20,000 cycles per second anything below and above this range you cannot hear so there's a farmer in america who converted the cry of the plant into the human frequency and you could come to know when the plants were crying when they wanted water there's another person who came and argued with me and told me brother Akir, i agree with you that plants have got life plants can feel pain but the plants have got about two senses less as compared to the animals therefore killing a plant is a lesser sin as compared to killing an animal i'm asking you the question brother suppose your brother your elder brother he is born deaf and dumb after he grows up and someone comes and kills him so will you go and tell the judge me lord give the murderer less punishment because my brother had two senses less he could not hear he could not speak will you say that in fact you will say give the murderer double punishment he could not hear he could not speak my brother was masoom he was innocent so in islam it does not work like that two senses or three senses the quran says in surah baqarah chapter number two verse number 168 eat of the good things we have provided to you as long as the food is halal it's tayyab for you you can have it and furthermore I personally have got no problem if the non-Muslim don't have non-veg. I've got no problem. Only if they tell me eating non-veg is a sin, it's a crime, that's the time I give the reply. Otherwise, if the non-Muslims in India, they don't have non-veg, it's beneficial for me. If all the non-Muslims in India start having non-veg, then the prices of mutton and beef will rise. It'll be more expensive for me to have it. So personally, I've got no problem. Hope that satisfies your answer, brother. Yeah, definitely, sir. So now, if you want, you can yet be a good vegetarian. If you want, you can eat non-veg also. Eating non-veg will keep you more healthy. 
You can have, but even if you want to be a pure vegetarian, it's not a sin. Hope that answers the question, brother. Uh, this is an interesting topic. Interesting because although I eat meat, I feel like uh, some of these meaty products that we consume are the reason why um, we get some of these diseases. We eat them excessively to the point that they make us sick. Uh, and you can't say you got sick because it runs in the family. Some of these things are not even in your bloodline, but you have them. Question yourself, what could it be? I feel like it's the things that we consume. Otherwise, uh, I always clap for vegetarians or people that have eliminated meat out of their thing because that's strong. That's strong because giving up meat is, I don't even know. Otherwise, they're actually supplements for people that don't want to eat meat to meet those required nutrients or whatever it is that people have to meet in their daily, in their day-to-day -day life. Uh, and it should be optional. If you don't want to eat meat, don't eat meat. If you just want to eat vegetables, just eat vegetables. If you want to eat meat, eat meat. Otherwise, it was very, very interesting. And thank you for the suggestion. Let me know what you guys actually think about eating meat. And just be free to say anything. Your comments are always welcome. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.